In our morning rounds, reversing paralysis, a Bulgarian man paralyzed from the chest down is able to walk again. A radical surgery used cells responsible for his sense of smell to repair the man's spinal cord. Vanita Nair is here with the breakthrough the doctors say is the first of its kind. Vanita, good morning. Good morning. That's right. It could be revolutionary as thousands of people each year suffer from spinal cord injuries. For most of them, it means facing a life of immobility. But now a team of European doctors says it has made a major breakthrough in the quest to treat paralysis. A knife attack in 2010 left firefighter Doric Fittica with a severed spine. For years, he was confined to a wheelchair. But less than a year after undergoing an experimental new surgery, this is Fittica now. You are making history now. To me, this is more impressive than a man walking on the moon. Cars are running down. Dr. Jeffrey Raisman of University College London led the team of British and Polish doctors. Their project was the subject of a BBC documentary. Fittica began receiving the pioneering treatment almost two years ago at a Polish hospital. The technique involves olfactory in sheathing cells. The cells inside Fittica's nasal cavity, responsible for his sense of smell, were chosen because they regenerate when they're damaged. The cells were then transplanted into his severed spine and bridged with strips of tissue taken from the ankle. Three months after surgery, Fittica's thigh muscles began growing. He's saying that I'm moving uh, the foot to his side. After extensive rehabilitation, he regained feeling in his legs. Just six months after his surgery, and with only the aid of leg braces, Fittica began walking. It's an incredible feeling. When you can't feel almost half your body, you are helpless. But when it starts coming back, it's like you were born again. I believe this is the moment when paralysis can be reversed. The medical world is closely watching his progress. Dr. Dalton Dietrich is a scientific director of the Miami Project to Cure Paralysis. I think this is important because it's using a combination approach for the first time in a person. Cell therapies, extensive rehabilitation, bridging strategies. It's only one patient and we have to do much more patients to actually figure out if this is going to work in other individuals. Doctors say Fittica is making progress each week and that now he can drive. More patients will soon, under, uh, soon undergo the same treatment at the University Hospital in Poland. It's really incredible to see him walking, That's though, isn't amazing. it? Yeah. I'm thinking the hope it's going to give people looking at that piece, Vanita. They did a great job of controlling for variables, too, making sure his progress was related to the surgery and not random spontaneous regeneration. Vanita, thanks. Thank you.